Well, we have done it again. Once again, we are releasing a brand new cutting edge product today in today's Tech Talk. I am super excited about this because today we're going to talk about super signals for MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. My name is Daniel Sinek and I will be your host tonight. And as mentioned before, I am super excited. Before we get into everything, let me ask you a very, very simple question, which is, have you ever tried using an indicator but couldn't make sense of it? If this has ever happened to you, please perhaps send a little yes message into the chat, into the comment section. All right, yeah, I can see the yeses coming in. I guess we have all been there. We have tried to use an indicator and for some reason it confused us more than brought us clarity. And this is really not the intention of an indicator. In fact, it's the opposite. An indicator should be crystal clear and straightforward. What do I mean by this? Well, let me borrow an example from a different domain, the domain of poker. You probably have seen a TV broadcast similar to this one. Here we have two poker players left in this hand. Four cards have been dealt. And before the fifth card is being dealt, each player has the chance to wager. What you can also see here, and this is only visible to the viewers on TV, are the estimated odds for each player to win this hand. Now imagine if you were a card cheat and for some reason you could, you know, you know what the other player's hand is and you could estimate these odds. Wouldn't these the world greatest poker indicator? And this is what I'm talking about. An indicator, an indicator reading should be as crystal clear as this one here. For example, showing you the odds of winning the next trade or in this case, winning the next poker hand. Wouldn't this be awesome? Because this can really make a big difference how you trade, how you trade poker. Imagine, what would you do? Well, if you knew these odds, you would only wager. You would only continue with this hand if the odds are in your favor. And if they're not, you would fold or stay away. Now, imagine this for trading. Imagine you had an indicator which could show you directly on the chart what are the estimated odds of winning your next trade before entering this trade. And this is exactly what we have attempted to do. We have attempted and we have actually accomplished it to create a set of indicators, which, we sh which will show you exactly this. They will show you the odds of winning your next trade before entering into the trade. If the odds are in your favor, you probably will continue with the trade. And if they are not, you would stay away. And oftentimes, staying away, staying out of a trade is the best trade advice that you can get. What these odds allow you to do essentially is to make truly informed decisions of whether you should trade or not. And this is what an indicator, at least in our book, should be all about. It should help you to make a trading decision. And it should not confuse you. Now, how this works and what this is, this is all about, we are going to discover today in this tech talk. Now, um, before we get started, I, um, you know, we had this little um, play on words about this trade when the stats align. It's not trade when the stars align, which of course is also uh, something true, but trade when the stats align. Basically, when the statistics, when the estimated odds are in your favor. Now, before I get started, let me quickly remind you that trading contains risk and that it's not suited for every investor. If you trade, make sure to only use risk capital. Should you lose it, it will not affect your lifestyle. When it comes to hypothetical performance or backtest results or estimated odds, keep in mind that these are not necessarily indicative of future performance. All right, so now that the lawyers are also happy, uh, let me re or introduce myself one more time. So my name is Daniel Sinek and I'm a managing partner of tradingindicators.com. I am joined today by my great colleagues, uh, managing partner Homa and our genius developer, Nicholas, who is the mastermind behind our um, super signal indicators and power bundle indicators. And both are today present as well. 
And if you have questions uh, throughout this presentation, don't be shy. Write them into the chat window. Write them into the Q&A section of Zoom and Nicholas and Homa. They will be happy to address your questions. Now, should you not know yet who we are, we are behind tradingindicators.com, which is your online store for all your trading needs. As the name suggests, we do offer trading indicators for various platforms, uh, including MetaTrader 4 and 5, NinjaTrader, Thinkorswim, TradingView, and so forth. And with everything we do, we try to you know, push the envelope a bit further, doing something that others have not yet achieved with the common objective to help you make better trading decisions. Now, we've been out there for quite some time now, and we do have clients all over the world. We service retail clients, institutions, trading educators, again, with one common goal in mind, to become better traders who make better trading decisions. All right. Now, um, if you're wondering, or if you have to drop off, uh, do not wonder. Uh, this session, of course, is recorded and will be posted um, within 24 hours on our YouTube channel. You can find our YouTube channel by simply going to tradingindicators.com. In the top right corner, you see a little YouTube icon. Click on it, and this will bring you directly to our YouTube channel, where you can find all our tech talks, uh, all our publications, all our announcements about new products, tutorials, and so forth. So make sure to check it out, and perhaps, if you like it, subscribe to our channel so you will always stay up to date. So uh, what's new? Well, what has happened in the last two weeks? Well, you may have noticed that we have released our MTF Fusion Indicator line for TradingView. Now, MTF stands for Multi Time Frame Fusion, a set of free indicators developed for you who leverage information from multiple time frames multiple higher timeframes, and combines this information into one single output. This is where the name comes from, multi-timeframe fusion. And by doing this, we can show you information on the chart, directly on the chart, which is not visible to the naked eye, and it can really make a big difference. Just one anecdote here is that Nicholas, uh, the developer behind MDF Fusion, he has used these very same indicators uh, this week uh, to pass a prop training challenge. Now, only using these indicators. So proving that these are indeed um, yeah, giving you insights or showing you insights which can help you make better trading decisions. Now, what else is new? What well, we have released finally, actually just today, our super signal indicators for MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. And in fact, this is going to be the topic, the main topic of today's presentation. But just a few more words about MTF Fusion. As mentioned before, it is a new concept, a new indicator line that we have just published uh, about two weeks ago, and it's been become uh, very successful already. And we have uh, we've received a lot of feedback uh, through um, through TradingView through our users that have used these indicators. Uh, to help them better make better trading decisions. And by now, we have published four indicators. Again, all completely free for you to, for for use, and you can find these on our Trading View channel. So you simply go to tradingindicators.com/tv. TV stands for Trading View. As mentioned, these indicators are available for the Trading View platform. And if you do, let me just sw quickly switch over to my browser. So if you do you will see a page like this uh, where you can see our four indicators, which is MTF Fusion, SNR trend lines, support and resistant trend lines, SNR levels, support and resistant levels, uh, a multi time frame fusion version of the parabolic SAR, and we've just uh, released a multi time frame fusion version of our super trend indicator. And you can use these indicators simply for free. If you like them, make sure to um, to boost them perhaps. And um, if you want to, want to stay up to date uh, whenever we release an update or perhaps a new indicator, uh, make sure to follow us as well. That way you will be informed whenever we, we release a new indicator. Okay, now back to the topic at hand. What's today's topic? Well, today's topic is super signals for MetaTrader 4. Now, what 
is the story behind Super Signals. Uh, you may have seen them already for other platforms. So we have released Super Signals for Ninja Trader, for TradingView, for Mod of Wave, and for MetaStock, which is different from MetaTrader. But now finally, they are also available for MetaTrader 4. Now, what's so super about Super Signals? Well, let me remind you, or perhaps tell you for the first time if you don't know this concept yet. Our super signal indicators are based on something called confluence. Sounds a bit loaded and complicated. I assure you it is not. It is basically a, basically a fancy word uh, for when the stars align. How this alignment can happen, I will show you today. Now, uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about confluence. Then we are going to introduce our super signals indicator. There will be plenty of time for looking at our live charts and demos. And at the end of this presentation, we have also prepared a very special offer for you, which you can take advantage of. Um, so please make sure to stay until the end of this talk. All right. So let's get into it. What is confluence? What is this loaded word all about? Well, confluence basically means convergence or alignment. But what does this mean for trading? Well, I've looked up a couple of definitions out there. For example, Investopia defines confluence as multiple strategies are combined into one complete strategy. That well, sounds quite vague, so probably it was not so helpful. Let's look at a, a different definition. Forexpedia defines it as several technical analysis methods give the same trade signal. Oh, that's already a bit closer. I think it gives you a better idea of what confluence is all about. And Binance Academy defines it as multiple investment methods, technical indicators, or trading signals are combined to form a more reliable strategy. I think there's also some truth uh, in that definition. And how do we define it? What well, to us, confluence, again, I mentioned it before, is more or less a fancy word for when the stars align. And in terms of indicators, it basically boils down to that multiple indicators line up and forecast the same move. And if this happens, it doesn't happen very often, but if it, ha if it happens, you might be in for a great treat because everything seems to be lining up. You know, different indicators forecasting the same next price move. Well, something may be up. Something might be uh, to that. All right. So let's dig into this uh, a bit further. Let's look at an example. Here is a price chart and multiple indicators are indeed applied to this chart. So what do we have here? Let's have a look. So we do have uh, a trend line here. You can see this black line uh, going from uh, this top here all the way down. Yeah. What else do we have? We have this blue line here, which is a 200 SMA. Yeah. We do have some FIP levels here. I guess we measured the distance from this top here all the way to the bottom. And price then retraced uh, into this FIP zone. And we have a stochastic down here, which uh, seems to be quite high. Now, what are these indicators telling us individually? So let's break them down a little bit. Well, we do have a descending trend line. And perhaps you've heard about it. The trend is your friend. So what does it mean? So once you're in a trend, Typically, chances are higher that this trend will continue in the trend direction. So here, the trend is descending. It's going down. We're in a downtrend. We're bearish. Chances are price will continue in the bearish direction. Okay. What else do we have? We have our 200 SMA uh, acting as a dynamic resistance level. Uh, you per perhaps have heard about this moving average uh, at 200 SMA where prices tend to bounce off from. Now, once we're below that average, that means we're in a downtrend. And again, a trend is your friend. So perhaps chances will, uh, chances are that, that the trend will continue in the downwards direction. What else do we have? We Our price has been retracing. And we are approaching this purple zone here, which is the 61.8% FIP level, FIP retracement level. Yeah? And um, as you may know, prices never go down or up in a straight line. Uh, they continue down, then retrace and go down and retrace. But how do we know how far they are likely to retrace? Well, oftentimes, this is approximated, approximated by these FIB levels. And one, one uh, very um, common level is the 61.8% level. And as price approaches this level, chances are that it will uh, stop pulling back and then continue in the direction of the downtrend. 
And finally, we also have the stochastic indicator here. As you can see, it's going up and down. It's really an oscillator. And right now, we are what's called overbought. We are on a level above 75, typically. That's an overbought level. Uh, basically telling you that um, what chances are that this retracement, and we've been in a retracement here, is coming to an end and perhaps will then reverse in the direction of the overarching trend. So all these different readings, they're forecasting one thing. And that thing is that prices will continue to further move down. And this is exactly what Confluence is all about. Multiple indicators. So in this case, our descending trend line, our 200 SMA, our 61.8 FIP level, and our stochastic, they are all forecasting the same price move. That price will continue to move down. And this is what Confluence is all about. Now, but it's not that easy because there's also something called bad Confluence. Bad. So why bad? Well, you want to make sure that whenever you look at confluent indicators, that these are complementary. They're not of the same sort. They use different, largely different calculations to forecast this move. Because if they were all based on the same calculation, this actually can be a bad thing. Because it may lead to the fact that just continue to wait, 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 wait until an alignment happens. But then that move has already happened. It's too late. And the trading opportunity is gone. Let me give you an example of bad confluence. So here, um, oftentimes MAs or moving averages are looked at, and there's a phenomenon called MA stacking, which basically means, if you look at this here, that the fast MA, which is this light blue line on top, is above the medium MA, which is perhaps this purple uh, line, which is above the slow MA, and which is above the very slow MA. And if they are ordered like this, if they are sorted, uh, we say the MAs are stacked. And they can be stacked either bullish, like in this case here, or bearish. Now, why might this be a bad sign of confluence or a bad confluence? Well, because it takes a while until all these MAs are stacked. And by then, perhaps price has already extended so far in the upwards direction, because that's what requires it for these MAs to be stacked, that it's likely to take a break and the trend is not continuing in the direction, at least not before a pullback is imminent. And this is exactly what's happening here. So we can see all these MAs being stacked. And then what happens next? Well, price is pulling back into the MAs. Because as mentioned before, there's no trend in the world which goes up in a straight line. Uh, every trend will take a break every once in a while, especially if it's overextended. And stacking of MAs, which are all based on the same calculation, it's basically just averaging price. So they're all very correlated. Um, and waiting for them to line up can be a sign of bad confluence, which actually is a bad idea to use uh, if you want to forecast future price move. Because you might be what's called in for an overextended run, which means price is likely to retrace first before continuing in the trend direction. We actually have designed an indicator, just as a side note, and I'm going to come back to this indicator just a bit later, which can detect these overextended runs. It's our trend radar indicator. You can see it here at the bottom of the chart. It's displayed below the price chart. Whenever you have all greens of that indicator, and I'll come back to this in a second, or perhaps a bit later in this presentation, if they're all green, plus they are stacked, you can see this by these little dots at the bottom, that's a telltale sign that we are in an overextended run and a pullback may be imminent. All right, so don't follow these forms of bad confluence. Now, we talked about bad confluence. What's good confluence? Well, let me revise my definition from before. So confluence on good confluence is a fancy word for when the well, good stars align, but this doesn't tell us much. So let's be a bit more concrete. What I mean by that is multiple complementary indicators line up and forecast the same thing. And by complementary, I mean that the indicators must be based on different calculations, perhaps use different form of a data input to conclude what is happening next. And if complementary indicators, which are based on different mathematical calculations, forecast the same, the same price move, then we talk about good confluence. All right. Now, Guess what? We have 
developed an indicator which exactly leverages this definition. And we call this indicator super signals. It is based on good confluence, meaning it is based on complementary indicators, which use different calculations to come up with these super signals, which are generated when there is confluence between these complementary indicators. Now, guess what? What are these indicators? Well, I'll let you guess three times. <laughs> I guess it's not so difficult if you are familiar with our offering. They are based on our power bundle indicators. You may have heard of them. For sure, if you follow us for a while, you definitely have heard of them. Uh, the power bundle indicators are a set of complementary indicators that we have developed um, and which are the basis for our super signal indicators. Now, a quick reminder, what are these power bundle indicators? Well, the first one is called one, two, three strike. It's our trend indicator for identifying strong trends. I will give you a signal of three things come together. We have directionality, so price are either going up or down for quite some time. We have an increase in volume and an increase in volatility. And if this happens, one, two, three strike will give you an, an entry signal. The second indicator is called divergence cloud. It's based on the concept of divergence. And you may have heard of it. It's a very uh, popular concept in trading. And basically divergence is a disagreement between price move and an underlying indicator. And if, they, if they disagree, then something is up. And we may be in for a change in regime. Perhaps an uptrend may reverse to the downside. Or perhaps a downtrend may finally come to an end and reverse to the upside. And this is what our divergence cloud indicator is all about. And the third indicator is called volatility crusher, an indicator designed to detect strong breakouts. And in our book, a strong breakout is a breakout where price will continue in the direction of the breakout after the breakout has occurred. And you can imagine how you as a trader can take advantage of that. You would simply enter in the direction of the breakout in the anticipation that price will continue. All right, so as you can see, they are all very different. One is for forecasting trends. The other one is based on divergence for forecasting trend reversals. And one is for breakouts, very different, not the same at all. They are very complementary. And this, this is why they are a great candidate for creating a confluence indicator, which we call super signals, because they're not based on the same mathematics completely different. So a great candidate, candidates for that. And this is exactly what we have done. We have created our super signals, which are based on confluence, based on our power bundle indicators. Now, before I get into this, I'd like to give you a quick demo just to make it a bit more hands-on of what these uh, power bundle indicators are all about. So let me switch over quickly to MT4. And as mentioned before, these indicators, they exist for multiple platforms, including MT4 and MT5, but they also exist for uh, NinjaTrader, for TradingView, for well, it's Modif Wave, uh, for Metastock, and so forth. Okay, so here we have uh, an MT4 chart, and we have the 15-minute time frame on the USD CAD, a US dollar, Canadian dollar which is very fitting because the headquarter of our company is indeed in Canada. Okay, so USD CAD on the 15 minute time frame, and I have applied our one, two, three strike indicator. And what we can see here is that, you know, every once in a while we do have these bigger triangles, if I zoom in a little bit here, like this one here or this one here, which are our entry signals, either to the upside or perhaps to the downside. All right. So the indicator shows us when to enter into a trade. But, you know, entering into a trade is just really one half of the story. Once you're in a trade, guess what? You eventually need to manage, manage this trade and get out of it to book profits or perhaps to manage your risk. Well, this is why all our indicators, they also give you exit suggestions, which are these smaller triangles here in the opposite direction of the entry signal. So here we had an entry, a long entry, one exit here, one exit here, one here, and one here. 
how many exits you would like to have, how many partial exits you would like to have, you can configure in the settings of the indicator. All right. What we also have uh, for all our power bundle indicators are the estimated odds of winning your next trade. You can see it here, long efficiency and short efficiency. Remember in the beginning of this presentation, when I talked about um, trading when the stats align, this is exactly what I meant by this. You actually can see what, have, what has been the success rate historically speaking, for, for these signals here, which are generated by the indicator. Yeah. So in this case, we can see that our long signals have um, worked out 71% of the time and the short signal at 72%. Yeah. This is a pretty good ratio, yeah, showing you that uh, well, our win rate was quite high, especially given the fact that our winners, typically if this indicator, are bigger than our losers. But it doesn't always have to be the case. It can be, for example, that our um, the indicator will show you well, our short efficiency, let's say, is only at 30%. It can happen. That means that this indicator currently is not working so well for this symbol and time frame. What do you do then? You simply do not follow the signals. You stay away. As mentioned before, at the beginning, oftentimes staying out of the trade is the best trade advice that you can get. Okay, so this is one, two, three strike. Real quick, I'm going to show you Divergence Cloud now. So let me load this up. Uh, Divergence Cloud. I keep the symbol the same. And here, uh, this is our Divergence Cloud indicator. Again, you can see the statistics here, which are, oh, wow, in this case, are really nice as well. So the symbol seems to work really nicely with Divergence Cloud, 85% to the long side and 93% to the short side. And uh, just like of one, two, three strike, we also have our entry signals here. Let's see it here. And our partial exits along the way. So this was a long entry, a really nice uh, long trade here. And here we had a short trade. And remember, Divergence Cloud is for detecting divergences, which can forecast that an uptrend, like in this case here, is coming to an end, it's weakening, and may reverse to the downside. This is exactly what we've seen right here. And uh, these rectangles here, which are either greenish, or reddish, this is where the indicator either senses a bullish divergence, like here, or a bearish divergence. Again, which can be a telltale sign that, you know, an uptrend is coming to an end and reverse to the downside or vice versa. And the real cool thing is that when, oh, there's one more thing I forgot actually to mention. <laughs> I was so excited about this, but there's one more thing I forgot to mention. We also have integrated into all our indicators an auto optimization functionality. What do I mean by this? Real quick, like with like every other indicator, also our indicators, they come with parameters, like here, like ATR period, divergence, look back uh, period, and so forth. Now, the question is, which parameters should we use? Well, the question is not easy to answer because it really depends on the symbol and time frame you're using. And the optimal set of parameters. They will change from symbol to symbol, from time frame to time frame. Now, you may say, oh my goodness, if I have to change my parameters every single time I change time frames or I change symbols, it's going to drive me nuts. It's going to take too long. Well, you're absolutely right. It probably will take you too long. This is why with, our, with the latest generation of our power bundle indicators and also our super signal indicators, we have included an auto optimization feature, which will automatically find the best parameters for you. The parameters which will give you the best statistics. It is really a game changer because now you don't have to, you know, manually trying to figure out these parameters yourself. It will be done for you. So for example, if I switch from M15 to M30, what the indicator will do, it will recalculate and it will ultimately find the best parameters for the M30 timeframe, huh? giving you different statistics. If you see this overlapping here, don't worry. You can place this box anywhere you want on the chart. By default, it's in the top right corner, but you can really place it anywhere you want. Okay, and we had one more indicator, um, which is called Volatility Crusher. Actually, one of my favorite ones because it gives, you, gives me... Um, Signals which fit my trading style are oftentimes the best. So let me go to Volatility Crusher. And it is, um, it is very selective. It's just loading right now. 
And uh, as you can see, we only get trades every once in a while, but they tend to be quite spot on. So here we had a nice long entry signal, which hit the target right there. Here we had another long signal hit both targets, uh, a short signal, which you know hit the targets and so forth. It's, it's a nice little indicator. And I like what I like about this one is that, you know, it first of all has a really high success rate typically can see it here we had you know multiple winners in a row which primarily has to do with the fact that our profit targets are fairly near the entry so we're only trying to you know take a little bit um of gain out of the market and then we close it out and i like this indicator because it gets me in and out very quickly so I typically don't have time to look at the chart for too too long i'll get too nervous so i want to be in and out fairly quickly so this is our volatility crusher indicator okay now Back to my slides because the uh, you know the most important part of this presentation is yet to come. All right, so as you can see here, we have these three indicators: one for trend trading, one for spotting reversal and reversal, and one for finding breakouts. Now, um, and I mentioned these before. What these do is one, two, three strike for trend trading, divergence cloud for spotting reversals, and volatility crusher for identifying these strong breakouts. And just to summarize real quick, uh, each of these indicators, they give you entry signals, but also exit signals. They will work on any time frame. So whether you're a day trader or a swing trader or an investor or a scalper, uh, not to worry. They will run on the one minute time frame, on the 50 minute time frame, also on the weekly time frame. There's no difference. Each of these indicators will give you our real time statistics showing you directly on the chart what are the estimated odds of winning your next trade. And they all come with our brand new auto optimization feature, which will find the best parameters for you. Now, these are our three indicators. And as mentioned before, these are truly complementary indicators based on completely different calculations. This is why these were the ideal candidates for generating or for creating a confluence based indicator. And our confluence based indicator is called super signals which will give you entry signals as you can see here when multiple of our underlying power bundle indicators forecast the same price move now what are these super signals all about well first of all they will generate either bronze silver gold or platinum signal depending on what kind of alignment we are having so let's go through these different you know, degrees of confluence together. Let's start with Bronx. So what is a Bronx signal? Well, a Bronx signal basically will show up on the chart. You can see it here. They, they are quite frequent. And they show up on the chart if at least two of the three indicators have an open trade in the same trade direction. So what do I mean by open trade? Now let's remember, let's remind ourselves that each of our indicators to give you an entry signal, but also exit signals. So why not all exits have been triggered? Let's say an entry signal comes up, but only two of the four exits have been triggered yet. That means you are still in a trade. So if you have a, you know, a long entry signal, only two exits are triggered, two more are yet to come. That means you're still long. This is exactly what this wrong signal looks for. Two of our three indicators need to be currently in a long trade, a long open trade. If this happens, a Bronx signal is generated under the condition that the third indicator does not contradict this trade direction. And this we couldn't have that we have a you know one to three strike is long, divergence cut is long, but volatility crusher currently uh, is in a short trade. This you couldn't have for a Bronx signal, but you could have that one to three strike is long, divergence cut is long, and volatility crusher is flat. Is in no trade. This can happen quite often. And this is exactly what our Bronx signal is all about. So this is Bronx. And as you can see here, it happens quite often. And we're going to have some examples later on. So this you'll see this quite often. The second form of confluence of our super signals indicator is silver. And silver is a bit special. <laughs> it's uh, something that we detected more or less by accident. But as you will see when we look at examples later on, it can be quite telling. Now for silver, we actually need that one, two, three strike and divergence cloud contradict each other. You may think, oh my God, well, contradict, that's not confidence at all. And you might be right, but there's a reason why we're looking for this scenario. 
So let's say one, two, three strike tells you, okay, you should be long and divergence cloud tells you you should be short. So there's obviously a contradiction. And for us, this means that the market is somewhat undecided. It doesn't know where to go yet. You know, perhaps in some kind of consolidation where it might go either long or short. Well, if the market is undecided, we, and it's undecided, we need to somehow wait until the market makes a decision. And oftentimes, this decision is picked up by our volatility crusher indicator, which will act as a tiebreaker. So one, two, three strike might be long, divergence cloud might be short, and then we wait for volatility crusher to come up and give us a long entry signal. That's the tiebreaker, meaning that we now have a breakout in the long direction. The market has made a decision and, we, uh, and it's likely to continue in the long direction further. Or volatility crusher may give you a short signal. Again, we have a breakout in the, in the short direction. To us, we interpret this as the market has made a decision to the short side, to the bearish side. And um, a silver signal is generated to the downside, as you can see here. And oftentimes, these can be quite telling because you have an undecided market and finally a breakout happens. The market made a decision and just follow along with that decision. Okay, next signal, gold signals, very rare. Gold signals happen if two of our three indicators have an entry signal on the same bar in the same direction. So it needs to be the entry signal on the exact same bar. So let's say a volatility crusher needs to have a long entry signal on this bar and perhaps divergence cloud also has an entry signal on the very same bar. This is very rare that it happens on the exact same bar. But if this happens, we get a gold signal again, which can be quite powerful and you can pick up a very strong price move that way. And there's one more instance for our super signals, platinum. As you may guess, a platinum signal is the most rare form of confluence. And that will happen when all three indicators have an entry signal in the same direction on the same bar. So in this case, and this is super rare, you may not see these for a long, long time. They may only occur every thousand or 2000 bars or perhaps even more. So this means, for example, for this signal here that volatility crusher has a sell signal on this bar, divergence cloud has a sell signal on this very bar, and one, two, three strike has a sell signal on this very bar. Again, super, super rare, but if it happens, you may be in for a great, great treat. And here on this chart, we can see this platinum signal here, but also a gold signal right here. Just a bit more frequent, still quite rare, where we only require that two of the three indicators have an entry signal on the same bar. All right, so I guess enough theory. Uh, let's look at super signals for MT4 and MT5 directly on the price chart. So I'm going to switch over one more time to my MT4 installation. And let's have a look at some examples. So here, let me open up this one first. Here we have Euro USD on the one minute time frame. And before I get into this, uh, a quick um, remark is that our indicators, they're not bound to just work with the Forex or the FX market. They work, in fact, on any market. So with MetaTrader 4, you typically have FX symbols, but you also can use them for CFDs. If you're on MT5, you can use them for futures, uh, for stocks, for ETFs. And if you use Ninja Trader, you, know, you can use them for futures and so forth. So not really bound to any asset class. They will work on all asset classes. All right. So what do we see here? Let's have a look. So, oh, one thing that stands out right away is that here we did have a silver signal. And remember when I said that this is this oftentimes is quite powerful. It's based on, you know, two indicators are contradicting each other. And then volatility pressure comes in as a tiebreaker. This is exactly what happened here. And look at the nice follow through. This is a one minute chart. So a very short term chart. So here we had a silver signal. Here we have a whole bunch of uh, Bronx signals along the way. And as you can see here, they happen quite often. Um, but you know, typically you get a nice follow through through each of them. Then it might not be in a straight line, but oftentimes you you know get at least some follow through after a Bronx signal. What else do we have? You know, a bunch of Bronx signals here. Uh, here one to the short side, here one to the long side. Here another silver signal with some nice follow through. 
And he actually, we did have a gold signal, uh, which did have some follow through. And now price has rebounded a little bit. But again, this is a one minute chart of so things are happening very quickly. I'm curious to see perhaps uh, towards the end of this presentation, uh, if we have some follow through after this gold signal to the downside. Let's change uh, change pace a bit. Let's go to the one hour chart again on Euro USD. What do we have here? Ah, a gold signal here. Look at this. Nice gold signals with great follow throughs. And gold signals, as a reminder, they occur when two of our three indicators have an entry signal, a long entry signal in this case, on this very bar. So if I zoom in, it really means it needs to be this bar here, and which is on, if you look at here, it's at 4 p.m. Uh, GMT or whatever the, the time zone is on June 15th. Yeah. Here, another gold signal. Here, a nice bronze signal. Yeah. Here, a bronze and here, a silver signal. So you can see here, oftentimes they tend to work out quite nicely. Now, one thing I should mention with our super signal indicators, you will only get the, uh, the entries, you will not get the exits. And there's a reason for this because, you know, confluence is based um, on multiple indicators forecasting the same move. It's deemed to be for entries. You know, stars are lining up. You want to get into it. Once you're in, in that trade, you're looking at risk management, you're looking at managing your trade. And for this conference, it's not so, uh, not so telling because you may want to use other techniques. And one thing you can do and something actually I do is whenever I have an entry signal based on our super signals, I then apply our power bundle indicators, the you know the underlying indicators to the chart, and look at where are these indicators giving me exit suggestions. And I follow along these exit suggestions to manage my trade once I trigger the trade based on a super signal. All right. Okay. So these are for the uh, the signals. But one thing I forgot to mention is this thing on the right hand side. This is what we call our power panel. So what can we see here? Well, first of all, you can see a little ticker down here, which basically tells you uh, what is the history of our super signals. So we can see, for example, here that 19 bars ago, we had a bronze signal to the short side, this one here. Then 32 bars ago, we had a bronze signal again to the short side and so forth. And sometimes, you know, I like to look at this ticker here, it's like a ticker to see what is the market sentiment. I can kind of see here that, well, you know, it's down, down, and one up. Well, it's kind of mixed. But often, sometimes you get like only down signals here in your ticker, basically giving me like a, a sentiment of what the market is up to. Perhaps that the market is in a strong downtrend. downtrend. Yeah, so you can see when these signals happen. We can also see that we have our efficiencies here. And these efficiencies, these odds, they are calculated based on the underlying statistics of the power bundle indicators. Uh, we, use, we basically um, you know, average them up in some sense and show these statistics here, basically allowing you to see how well our super signals, which are triggered by our power bundle signals, have been working out. And one more thing, we have also integrated auto optimization AO into our super signals, which basically does the following. It will look at all three underlying indicators, one, two, three strike, divergence cloud, and volatility crusher. It will auto optimize each and every one of them. And only once the optimal configuration of these three underlying indicators have been found, then these versions of the indicators are used for looking for confluence, for looking for the super signals. So you can see there's like multiple levels of complexity in there. Huh? But this is all hidden for you. This all happens in the background. And all you see as the trader are these signals directly printed on the chart along with these statistics. Uh, again, I'm coming back to my initial thesis. An indicator should be as clear, should be crystal clear, in fact, to you. So there's no misinterpretation. And I think this is what we achieved here. And there's no, no room for interpretation. You have your statistics, you have your entries. And both of these things you can use to make an informed trading decision. Let's change pace one more time. Pound USD. I zoomed out a little bit and you can see here again, we had a couple of nice gold signals along the way with nice follow through. Here we had a silver signal, a couple of bronze signals, which I, you know, which can occur quite often. Here a nice bronze signal, which had a nice follow through afterwards uh, and so forth. Silver signal, silver signal, gold signal, another gold signal here just recently. 
yeah, along with your history printed here. Ethereum USD. Yeah, look at these signals. A nice gold signal here. A gold signal here to the downside, which worked out really nicely. Uh, Bronx signal, Bronx signal, silver signal. Yeah. Not everyone works out, of course. It's not the perfect indicator. And sometimes Confluence uh, will give you a trade, which is you know at the top of the market. It can happen, of course, but this is where your risk management comes in. Yeah, you would, you know, you would put you would position size in a certain way that you know should this trade go against you, you're not wiped out, of course. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you use the other risk management techniques, perhaps you may take some money off the table if the market goes against you, or if the market goes with you, goes in the direction of future, perhaps take some partial profits along the way. That's all part of risk management, which you can use at your discretion using our super signal indicators. And one more example. Here we have the S&P 500 CFD. Again, our super signals are applied here. We have a silver signal, a couple of bronze signals along here. Here, nice um, bronze signal to the short side and so forth. A silver signal here. Let me see if I can find a gold one. Here, a nice gold signal Yeah, and so forth. And one more example, oil on the one minute. Again, a couple of nice uh, silver signals here. Here, gold signal, which had great follow through. Silver, silver to the upside, gold to the upside, and so forth. All right. So this is MT4. But of course, uh, we also have our super signals indicators for MetaTrader 5. And uh, Nicholas, who has MT5 installed on his machine, are you there for a quick demo of our MetaTrader 5 super signals indicators? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. How? Oh. Hi, Nicholas. Hi. Great. Okay, perfect. Let me just uh, enable screen <clears throat> sharing for you, and then you will be good to go. All right. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Okay, can you see my MetaTrader 5? Yes, we can. Okay, so here I have super signals on MT5. It's essentially the exact same indicator as Daniel has been showing on MT4, except it's set up on MetaTrader 5. And here I have super signals applied to Boeing stock on the one hour chart. And you can see up here in the panel, it's telling me, um, I think Daniel didn't cover this, so I'm gonna go through all of the settings so you understand them. Up here, it's telling me that I'm using the simplified optimization mode, excuse me, which means that the indicator is basically doing a quick optimization process to find these best signals. And you can see that they work pretty well, but sometimes you want to change the mode from simplified to maybe something a little more intense that tries harder to find better settings. So what you want to do is open up your indicator settings, hop into the indicator, Super Signals AO, and you have this setting down here called optimization mode. And you see here, we have it set to simplified. And when I have it set to simplified, in total, 504 different con configurations are tested across the three underlying indicators. So 504 different sets of settings have been tested, and it has chosen the ones which gave the most, the signals with the highest win rate to come up with your super signals. So if I switch it to standard mode and click OK, we're going to see now the statistics, the long efficiency and the short efficiency have jumped up about you know 7 to 10 percent each. And now we're not testing 500 configurations. We're testing you know 2,632. So theoretically, we will be getting better signals. It's not always the case. Sometimes you will find that testing on simple mode will give you better signals for your style or standard mode. That's why we provided these extra modes. So you can try them out and see which ones give the best signals. Now, super signals, um, they are discretionary entry signals. They are not providing exit points like the underlying indicators. So although they do have a higher probability of success a lot of the time, like look, let's look at this silver signal right here. If you had taken this long and you had no risk management in mind, that well, might not be the best signal, right? Because it's just a indicator. It's an indication that something is going in a certain direction. So right here, let's take a look at some of these signals we got on standard mode. We had a nice short here. This short here, this bronze short, they happen very often, didn't pan out terribly well. 
We had a silver long when we thought we were getting this breakout. Didn't work out. This silver, this bronze didn't happen to work out. But then we've got these nice little gold signals that led into an uptrend. A bronze that worked out with a little pullback. Again here, the silver pulled against. And sometimes with these modes, um, these standard simplified, et cetera, modes, if you try one of them, like let's say standard mode, you got to be careful that it doesn't look like the indicator is overfitting to find good signals. Um, which means basically overfitting is kind of over optimizing where it's tried so many configurations that it comes up with one that happens to give the best statistics. But in reality, uh, the, the signals that generate maybe have too much drawdown relative to their entry points. And a lot of the time you end up finding maybe you want simplified mode. Um, but when I'm looking at signals, a good signal is one that provides a decent follow through within a, a relatively small amount of bars afterwards. That's how I like to judge them. So this gold signal to me here, although we got a long signal here and we're down over here, to me, that's a good signal because look, we got this run up right here. We could have profited there. You can't expect that every signal is going to run on forever in the direction it's given. So this was on Boeing on the one hour. I'm going to grab a random symbol over here. Let's grab, uh, what is this? Bitcoin futures, cryptocurrency CFD. Okay. So here we've got Bitcoin. We're on the one hour. Let's go over to something like the 15 minute. And here the indicator has now re-optimized and we've got 80% on the long side, 56% on the short side on the 15 minutes. This is likely because, you know, Bitcoin has been relatively trending up in the last month or two. But if we take a look at these signals, we do see um, on this bronze here, we got a decent follow through on this short before we wicked up, we got a follow through here. We got a little follow through. We're generally getting good entry signals. If you take the signals as an average, sometimes, of course, you get these failed breakouts, which is why you need risk management. But as you know, the super signals are based on these three underlying indicators, right? The volatility crusher, divergence cloud, and one, two, three strike. And Daniel explained how these signals are defined. So for example, this gold signal right here, or this silver signal, this occurred because divergence cloud one, two, three strike. Oops, let me turn off the jump forward on the chart. So this silver short signal occurred because divergence cloud and one, two, three strike were opposing each other. One was saying, hey, go long. And the other one was saying, hey, go short. But finally, volatility crusher came through with a short entry and you had this tiebreaker, which gave us a silver signal. Similarly here on this gold signal, as Daniel mentioned, this occurred because one, two, three strike and divergence cloud or divergence cloud and volatility crusher, two of the three indicators signaled a long entry here on this exact bar, which gave us this signal uh, to go long right here. Let's look for a couple other examples of a gold signal if we can find one. I think that's it for this chart. But now I'm gonna show you another cool feature that Daniel has not mentioned yet, which is custom signals. So you know the definition of the gener generic signals we've given you. The gold signal happens when two, of, two out of three of the indicators signal the same thing. So right here, two out of three of the indicators gave a short signal. The bronze signal happened when all uh, two out of three of the indicators are currently short. And the silver happens as that tiebreaker. But you can also define your own signals. So I'm going to jump into the settings. And you've got these settings here called custom long signal logic and custom short signal logic. So here you can define a custom signal and you determine what each of the underlying indicators, one, two, three, divergence cloud and volatility crusher, what each of them needs to be doing for your custom signals criteria to be satisfied. So we know that the gold signals, for example, occur, and I'm just gonna turn off just for clarity here. I'm going to turn off every signal except gold. Okay. So just for clarity, um, let's look at the custom short signal logic. So a gold short happens when two out of three of the indicators signals the same thing. So if I wanted to replicate the gold short logic right here, I could do something like if one, two, three strike gives me, and you have all these options. So if one, two, three strike is currently long, currently short, it's flat. It's not long, not short, not flat, or we have a long entry or short entry from that indicator. I can set this as what I want that indicator to do in order to give me my signal. So I might, for example, say, hey, I want to get a signal 
when one, two, three strike is short, divergence cloud is short, and volatility pressure gives me a short entry signal. So this does not override or overlap overlap with any of the signals we've defined as a super signal. This is a unique definition. Once one, two, three and divergence cloud are short, and then we get that volatility pressure short entry signal, it's gonna give us our custom short entry signal. And I can do something similar on the long side, maybe I'll do the exact inverse. So when one, two, three is long, divergence cloud is long, and volatility crusher gets a long entry signal, then I want my long custom signal to trigger. If I click OK and take a look at the chart here, I turned off all the signals except gold. And let me just make sure I did not turn off custom signals. I did. True. OK. So there's our gold signal. Now we're going to see a blue signal when one of our custom conditions happens. So right here, we had one of our custom conditions occur, but it overlapped with a gold signal um, just by chance because two of the indicators happened to trigger that at the same time. Hopefully we can find a unique custom signal. So we had one back here. This was actually an awesome uh, custom long signal because look, we, we would have caught that dip at the close of this bar. We would have been entering on the following bar. We would have caught that right up for a nice little uh, profit there of however many ticks before we had a rundown again. And here we had a short signal, two out of three of the indicators were short, then volatility crusher came in on this breakdown, a little pullback, but then nice follow through here. This one didn't work out so well. This one had a follow through. And let's hop over to another time frame, maybe something like the five minute right over here, just to see. Okay, so here we've got the signals. Here's our custom signals, longs with their follow through short. These two shorts worked out quite well. Here we had a bunch of long signals. And then finally, boom, we broke out. And if you look over in the panel on the top right, it's telling us that we have 50, almost 50% 50 and 60% long and short efficiency. That's not great. So in this kind of case, the indicator is telling you that perhaps the indicators, the underlying indicators, are not giving such good results. You might, in this case, want to change your optimization mode. So I'm going to hop over to standard and see, hey, if we test more settings, are we going to get better efficiencies? And you can see, yeah, we did. Look, we got 77%, 64%. Check out this custom long signal we just defined. That had amazing follow through. And let's see if we had any other good signals. I think it's pretty clear that this really cleared up the garbage signals here, got rid of the noise. And we can hop over even further to exhaustive mode which is going to test, I think, like 5,000, 8,514 configurations. And you see it's not doing so well on the short side, but now we've got almost, we've got 76% uh, win rate on the long side with these signal parameters. And you can see how rare the signals are. Um, so you can tell that the actual win rate percentage isn't changing highly frequently. It's something that you can expect, you know, realistically with some sort of confidence to continue into the near future if you get new signals. And finally, the last feature I want to cover is called reoptimization. So we have something called the reoptimization interval in bars. And what this does is if you have it enabled, it's on. If you have reoptimization enabled and you have, for example, the reoptimization interval set to 30 bars, then every 30 bars after you apply the indicator. So let's say I apply it right, or let's say I applied it right here. 30 bars later, once we got maybe to this point, the indicator is going to automatically re-optimize the settings and give you the new best signals, the new best configuration uh, going into the future based on the updated historical data that has changed since we got these 30 new bars. So if you don't want to worry about re-optimizing yourself or you want to keep up to date with market conditions as they change, you can enable re-optimization and have that done automatically for you as the indicator rolls into the future. Yeah, good point. Yeah, especially, no point. Yeah, especially on uh, on shorter time frames and smaller time frames, this is a very handy feature because uh, you may forget to uh, to reapply the indicator track at the optimization. But if the reoptimization feature, well, you're going to be reoptimized every thirty bars automatically. All right, great. Thanks, Nicholas. So Pleasure. let me uh, thank you. Let me take over the screen again and quickly comment on the create your own signal 
uh, logic that Nicholas has mentioned. So we call this a build your own super signal. Uh, BYOS, you probably know BYOOB, but BYOS uh, bring your uh, build your own super signal. We can really mix and match conditions to your liking uh, based on some uh, some predefined uh, you know logical conditions such as uh, an indicator is either currently long or perhaps short or flat or not long or not short, and with an indicator currently has an entry signal on a given bar or not. And this allows you to really mix and match your conditions to build your own logic for super signals. All right, so, but you may wonder, hmm, uh, shouldn't you mana trade a four and five? But, uh, well, there's only, um, only so much we can show you. Uh, but rest assured, these indicators, our power bundle indicators and our super signal indicators, they also work for other platforms. So they work great for MT4 and MT5 as we just shown you. And this is our brand new release in this tech talk. But we had previously released these indicators for Ninja Trader, for TradingView, for Mart of Wave. And, uh, and they work great on all these platforms, especially Ninja Trader and Mart of Wave. Um, they're super fast and you have some additional options or interaction um, capabilities uh, because the platforms are a bit newer than MetaTrader. As you may know, MetaTrader is quite dated. I think it's been out there for, <laughs> especially MetaTrader for probably for the last 15 years. So it's an old software. But on, on one of these newer platforms, these super signals, they run even better. But nonetheless, of course, on MetaTrader, they run great as well. Now, you may wonder, okay, or ask yourself the question, are these indicators for me? So let me help you with that. So um, whether you're a day trader, a scalper, a swing trader, or perhaps an investor, rest assured you can use our indicators because they work on all time frames and all chart types, no restrictions. Whether you trade uh, stocks, FX, futures, or perhaps crypto, uh, no problem. Our indicators, they will work on all asset classes and all symbols as well. And if you're a bit of an engineer like me and you believe that tools can make your life easier and trading tools can make your trading life easier, then these indicators are definitely for you because they do most of the heavy lifting for you. They will show you the statistics. They calculate these for you. They will auto-optimize the parameters for you and they look for confluence for you. So basically do all the heavy lifting so that you don't have to do these things and you can focus on making informed trading decisions. And if you're a prop trader, I know prop trading is so popular right now. Oops, double slide. If you're a prop trader, uh, you can also use these indicators uh, quite nicely. Uh, they can help you pass prop trading challenges. And we get feedback from our users about this all the time that they have used perhaps volatility crush or perhaps one, two, three strike to help them make uh, trades uh, as part of a prop trading challenge to pass these challenges. So, uh, so if you're into prop trading, you can definitely use these indicators as well. Now, we have put together a special offer for you, which includes our super signals and our power bundle. So typically, you would get these ones for life for $1,497. This is a one-time for life payment, including all the super signals that you've seen, including our statistics panel, including one, two, three strike, the underlying indicator, you get access to that, that one as well, including divergence cloud and including volatility crusher with all the features that you've seen today with the statistics, the auto optimization, these super signals to build your own signals, all of these, you will get them for this price. But we thought about something special for today because it's the release of the super signals for MT4 and MT5. So we're going to supplement this special offer by some additional goodies. So you will get all this I just mentioned. We're gonna to add to this our five hour masterclass on demand which will teach you everything you need to know to use our power bundle indicators and our super signal indicators. You will learn about every single parameter, every single optimization mode, all these things in our masterclass. So no questions will be unanswered. You will also, of course, become part of our community, which uh, will give you the right, in quotes, the right <laughs> to uh, contact us, to ask any question you want, and we'll be so happy to uh, 
to make sure that all questions will be answered, that you will, you know, get started on the right foot uh, with the objective, with the common objective to all become better traders together. So we're part of our community and we're going to throw in our trend radar indicator. You may have remembered trend radar from the very beginning of this presentation where I talked about overextended runs and pullbacks and all these things. So we're going to throw in this indicator as well. I'm going to give you a screenshot of this in just a second. But this is not all. There's one more thing. We are also going to slash down the price for the first five users uh, for the special uh, by $250. So $1,497 will become $1,247. And if you want to take advantage of this, uh, simply go to tradingindicators.com slash special. Yeah, this is reserved for only a handful of users. And if you want to take advantage of this, simply go to this link. You can also simply scan this QR code, which may make your life a bit easier because we're all about, you know, simplifying your trading life or your life in general. So you can simply scan this QR code. It will bring you to the same webpage where you can check out our Super Signals special. And this special is available for MT4 and MT5, of course, but also if you, should you trade with Ninja Trader, it's available for Ninja, for Mod of Wave, and uh, for TradingView. All right. Now, um, Trend Radar, talking about Trend Radar, it's an indicator which will allow you to see at a glance what is my short term trend, medium term trend, and long term trend doing. And it's showing this to you by means of this, uh, you know, little sub indicator down here, and uh, which is either greenish or reddish. And uh, what you can see here, for example, is that uh, when everything is green, so the short term trend up here is green, the medium term trend in the middle is green, and the long term trends are green too. You are in a strong uptrend, of course. But you know, as a trend trader, a strong uptrend is not always your best friend because, you know, when you're in such an overextended run, what's likely to happen? Well, a pullback is likely to happen. And it's exactly what we can see here. And this indicator is designed to identify these pullbacks. And we call these healthy pullbacks because it's an opportunity for you to enter in the, direct, in the overarching trend direction. It will give you a better entry price and a less risky trade. So for trend trading, this is key to wait for these pullbacks. Now our trend radar indicator does exactly this for you. Among other things, so we have a whole ebook around this and documentation of what kind of patterns you can identify with this indicator. And you're going to get this indicator for free should you take advantage of this special. All right. Now, with this set, um, we're also going to throw in our ebook on divergence, not just any form of divergence, the divergence that we have discovered. It's called volatility divergence, which is the underlying concept for our, our divergence cloud indicator. And um, according to our research, it was the most telling form of divergence, divergence that we have discovered. You will also get our five hour masterclass on demand. And of course, uh, you will become part of our community. And again, if you want to take advantage of this, simply go to tradingindicators.com slash special. So here it is again. And I think now it is time to answer some questions. So Nicholas, are there any open questions at this point which we can address? Hi, Daniel. I'm looking through the questions. Right now, there aren't any open-ended questions, but maybe I answered one a little quickly that I can repeat. So will the indicators work with non-linear bars? So something or non-time bars, something like range bars. Yeah. So these are bars which are not built into MT4 or MT5. But if you're a ninja or trading view, a mod of wave, you have access to things like Renko bars or tick bars or uh, range bars. They're not time-based. They're based on other uh, things that happen in the market. And the answer is yes, of course. These indicators were actually quite great with these kind of bar types. So yes. No problem there. Perfect. Cool. And um, these underlying, the underlying indicators beneath this are part of the Conqueror Prop Challenge bot, right? That's right. Yeah. And is there some plan to, or do you ever plan to include this type of confluence in the bot in the future? 
yeah, we may do that. Uh, that's something is, which is not decided yet. Uh, this could be our summer project um, for the months to come. Uh, right now, it is not part of it, but it's definitely worth a thought uh, to also integrate these super signals, especially given their precision into our Conqueror EA project. Perfect. Okay. And thank you. One other question from Alex. So you have statistics on the chart that are telling you what the win rate of these signals is or from the underlying indicators. Is it best to search for symbols that just work better with these efficiency ratings or um, you know, put them on the chart you want even though it has low efficiency? Oh, it's definitely best to pick the symbols and the time frames which give you the best uh, statistics. That's the whole point that uh, you will only trade the symbols and time frames which are currently working the best. Why wouldn't you do this? And you can tell this by looking at these statistics. So that's that was exactly the whole point of having these stats uh, trading when the stats align. So when the stats are giving you the best odds. Yeah. So I would definitely recommend that. Perfect. Um, and one from. Alex Galecia, Galecia, he wants to know, looking at the motive wave version of super signals, why statistics aren't shown in that version. So Alex, I can answer that. Statistics are shown in that version, but on motive wave, um, we have an option. You can click this little window and you press a button that basically minimizes or maximizes the full panel. So what you're seeing is probably when the statistics are minimized. Um, where it's just showing the latest super signals, but there's a button you click, it opens up and it shows the efficiencies for all three underlying indicators individually. So it definitely shows them there. Yeah, and this brings up a good point. So basically everything you've seen uh, is customizable. So in terms of styling, colors, positioning. So there are a lot of options. Uh, so if you don't like the box, for example, in the top right corner, you can put it on any other corner on the chart. You can not show it at all if you don't want to see it and so forth. You can change colors. Lots of things are customizable. Perfect. Uh, and Daniel. That's... Yes. Hi, hey, Oma. A little... Hey, how's it going? Um, I don't know if Paul's question was answered, but Paul wanted to know if the super signals are going to be added to the conqueror. Yeah, we just discussed that. That was, uh, it's possibly uh, something we are going to consider over the summer. Uh, the final vote has not been made yet because, um, yeah, for various reasons, but uh, it's definitely something we're considering. Okay, thanks. Great, thanks. Okay, any other questions? Not right now, Daniel. That's all the questions. Awesome. All right, guys. So uh, if you have any other questions or if you have um, anything else to say or to comment, uh, please don't be shy. Uh, we, are, we are always available for you. Simply go to tradingindicators.com. There's a contact form on our homepage and uh, simply leave a note there, your comments there, your questions there. I read every single one of them or our team reads every single one of them and we will reply to each of those at our earliest uh convenience so uh depending on how much work we have uh we reply to all your inquiries uh, no exception okay so with this being said uh thank you so much for spending this evening or this night or this morning with us i know your time is precious so this makes me uh, even more grateful that you spent your uh, this hour with me or this uh, one and a half hours with me. With this being said, I'll be so happy or nothing would make me, make me more happy to welcome you as part of our community. And if you want to do this through our Super Signals offer, um, I encourage you to do it. All right. So with this being said, um, have a nice trading week and talk soon. Bye-bye.